2024 Triumph Scrambler 1200X First Ride Road Optimized Performance Unveiled The choice with Triumph's 1200 Scrambler is clear, you either embrace its unwavering, slightly traditional approach as a dual-purpose retro powerhouse, or you're deterred by its towering seat height and the absence of adventure bike comforts, especially when venturing off-road. Acknowledging this reality, Triumph introduces the 2024 Scrambler 1200X, a thoughtful response for those captivated by the Scrambler's undeniable allure but somewhat daunted by its size. With a lower seat height and adjusted suspension, the 1200X is more user-friendly for everyday use. Priced at $13,595, it's significantly more affordable than its predecessor, the Scrambler 1200XC. While some may question the switch from Brembo M50 brakes and Olean shocks to Nissan and Marzaki units, the 1200X aims to broaden Scrambler accessibility, emphasizing a pragmatic, road-focused experience. For the off-road enthusiasts, the Scrambler 1200XC maintains its rugged persona, standing tall and eager for dirt adventures. It receives various updates, some shared with the X, establishing a clearer distinction between the two 1200 models. The 1200X emerges as the scrambler for everyone. Both 2024 models employ Triumph's high-power liquid-cooled 1,200 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine. Although the claimed peak power and torque remain at 89 horsepower and 81.1 pound FT, they now arrive 250 RPM earlier, enhancing responsiveness. The new throttle body, revised exhaust headers, and improved heat shield contribute to a well-rounded performance. An electronics upgrade introduces cornering traction control in five riding modes, sport, road, rain, off-road, and rider configurable. During testing in Spain, the X exhibited a seamless and urgent response in both road and sport modes, delivering ample power across the rev range. While not immediately apparent without a direct comparison, the new X boasts increased torque at lower RPM, providing robust performance throughout the ride. The bike's abundant mid-range power ensures a satisfying experience, with minimal need to rev beyond 5,500 RPM. Peak power at 7,000 RPM offers more than enough zest, making the Scrambler 1200X a compelling choice for a wide range of riders. Leveraging the substantial foundation is the unchanged steel cradle frame for 2024 a fixture in both the previous XC and the updated XC. However, a complete overhaul is evident in the suspension department. Departing from the XC's fully adjustable 45mm Showa USD fork and Olean's piggyback rear shocks, the 1200X adopts Marzaki units for both front and rear. While the fork maintains a 45mm diameter, it is now non-adjustable, and the rear shocks offer only spring preload adjustment. Crucially, both components feature reduced strokes, diminishing the travel from the XC's 7.9 inches at each end to a mere 6.7 inches. In the realm of road riding, the Triumph Scrambler 1200X leaves a distinct impression. Nestling into the stylish bench seat, the rider immediately senses a change. The seat height shrinks from the XC's 33.1 inches to 32.3 inches, significantly lower than the new XC's 34.3 inches. Opting for an even lower seat brings this figure down to 31.3 inches. As a 5-foot-7 rider, who has often felt a touch intimidated by the 1200 scramblers, Triumph's adjustment of the suspension travel eliminates the need to strategize stops based on fear of being unable to touch the road. Confidence surges. While the Marzaki brand may lack the MotoGP flair of the departed Olean's components, their suspension expertise ensures minimal compromise in real-world performance. Navigating the winding roads of Malaga, I found no necessity to interrupt the ride to tweak suspension settings. The pace was spirited, the roads flowing, and the feedback and support aligned perfectly with a bike sporting a 21-inch diameter front wheel. Despite a 1.2-inch reduction in travel, the suspension proves better suited to the road, presenting a more road-centric profile than the older XC. Nevertheless, the reduction in ground clearance means the pegs occasionally graze the road, and heavier riders pushing the limits may require added preload to preserve their pegs. While the addition of cornering ABS enhances safety, it's undeniable that the 1200X exhibits diminished braking power compared to its predecessor. 
The smaller 310mm diameter discs, down from 320mm, and axial mount missing calipers, replacing the radial mount Brembos M50S of the XC, require a firmer three-finger pull during hard braking into tight downhill hairpins. A welcomed update manifests in a single, circular dash, straightforward and user-friendly, with optional Bluetooth capability. An underseat USB port and a foam line storage box provide secure housing for a smartphone while keeping its battery charged. The impressive 70 item list of accessories allows riders to tailor their 1200X experience, whether transforming it into a tour with factory luggage options or gearing up for off road adventures with specialized rubber, crash protection, and a bash plate. Off road experience with the Scrambler 1200X. Given the road-oriented Metzeler Carew Street tires equipped on the 1200X, Triumph might not have been thrilled that I subjected the new Scrambler to an unofficial off-road test. However, as long as your off-road ambitions don't involve tackling challenging trails or navigating rocky terrain, the 1200X remains adept at providing enjoyable adventures along green lanes. With the traction control turned off, the X's precise fueling, balance, and accessible torque facilitate controlled rear slides without courting disaster. It's worth noting that, despite now catering to shorter riders, the 503-pound weight makes it clear that the 1200X, contrary to its name, is not a lightweight scrambler. Verdict. Triumph has redefined its high-displacement scramblers for 2024, resulting in two distinct bikes, the 1200X and 1200XC. The gap between the two models is now clearer and better understood. By adjusting the specifications and aligning them with practical customer needs, Triumph has made the 1200X more approachable than the XC, broadening its appeal to riders of varying sizes. The X features well-balanced, softly tuned, road-centric suspension that maintains stability and planted feel even when pushed. Power delivery is pleasantly robust, and the enhanced spread of torque effortlessly propels the bike past cars and through turns. With a commendable fuel efficiency of 50 miles per gallon, USA, easily achievable and service intervals set at 10,000 miles, the 1200X promises moderate long-term running costs. Owning a substantial scrambler is now more affordable, manageable, and safer than before. And, for riders on the shorter side, it's also more enjoyable. The X has nicely balanced, softly set, road-focused suspension that remains stable and planted when pushed. Power delivery is delightfully punchy, and there's that enhanced spread of gooey torque to shovel it past cars and out of turns. Its economy is good, with 50 miles per gallon, USA, easily attainable, and service intervals are at 10,000 miles, meaning long-term running costs should be moderate. The 1200X makes owning a big scrambler cheaper, easier, and safer than before. And, for those of us lacking in height, more fun too. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.